So the Yodo didn't go particularly well yesterday, and I really was curious if I was just being too hard on that ship, because I hadn't played the Zhao in quite some time. So that's what we're going to do today. I figure it would be an interesting idea to take a look at the other Japanese Tier 10 cruiser, and see if this one is really that much better than the Yodo, or maybe I'm just thinking of Zhao back in the day when it was a very, very strong cruiser, and comparing that idea or that uh, feeling of a very strong cruiser to what the Yodo is. Um, the build looks a little something like this at the moment. Um, we'll see how it plays in-game, but another thing we should be looking at here is the armor just being slightly better. Uh, not too much difference there, but of course the Zhao is a little more maneuverable as well, which should help us quite a bit. Alongside the shell velocity, I think we're going to do better, uh, but I don't know. So let's take a look. So let's start things out here by talking about what the Zhao doesn't do particularly well. And I think that is its turret angles. I think that's a pretty massive weak spot on, uh, on this ship. And... It really does limit a little bit of what you're able to do, and, uh, well, hopefully we don't die here. That would kind of suck. Vermont, Duncan... But yeah, the turret angles are pretty brutal here, so that is something that we have to keep in mind, as well as our turret traverse not being all that amazing. But the Zhao is a really solid HE spammer can see even there from those few hits, we uh, got a lot of HE damage. But it's an old ship. It's been in the game a very long time, and it hasn't really changed too much, other than the torpedo buff a little while ago, as well as the uh, little bit of extra HP that it has these days. I think I think overall it's just going to be an easier ship to play than Yodo, thanks to the shell velocity. I've played pretty aggressive here. No carrier, no sub, means I think I'm okay with uh, pushing up into islands a little bit more. There's really no DDs around in this game, so that is something else that I'm kind of looking at and trying to take advantage of here. Push up to a more aggressive position, try and get some good shell hits on some of these battleships. We have decent range here, but not insane, so if they're gonna run away, I don't really want to commit to a really long flank or something like that. Good fire there. Zhao really was that HE menace back in the day. Those of you that remember the uh, stealth fire mechanics? <laughs> Pretty interesting. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm glad those are gone. But it was one of the Zhao's specialties, certainly. Alright, Alaska does have us hydroed here. Which is a little spooky, I'll be honest. So I kind of want to just leave this flank. 6,000 damage there from the HE feels pretty good. Or at least don't want to be uh, permanently hydroed by an Alaska here. When we could be facing some broadsides or giving an up our broadside to the battleships down south. But just look at the accuracy. That's the other thing that the uh, Zhao does extremely well is it's a lot of shells on target. It's a lot of shells on target. Should be the fire, that's good, taking him out. And while the AP is actually pretty strong on the Zhao as well, I don't really use it unless I'm at closer ranges. It's kind of what uh, I try to do, save it for broadsides I know I can hit, or if I'm able to uh, catch a cruiser, then I can get some citadels. But at longer ranges like this, I would rather just try and get the fires. They're very, very powerful against a lot of these battleships. So it looks like the enemy team is going to be running away from this flank. That's just fine with us. We don't have to stay here terribly long. A Gina and broadside, maybe. We do have expert loader for a reason. The turret traverse is... Well, pretty old school turret traverse. <laughs> yeah, so they're going to be running away from this flank. That means I want to go help up here. Like I've talked about in a lot of my videos, we definitely want to be, um, we don't want to be pushing into the enemy spawn. We want to be going and stalling out the enemy's push that might go to our spawn. So this Schlieffen we want to deal with, um, it's unlikely this Alaska pushes in all honesty, but it does present a bit of an issue for us if we want to cross over here. 
The torp angles are just atrocious. That is something that the Yodo does much better. Send out some torps there. And then we'll relocate. So the potential worry here is going to be the uh, Schlieffen on our flank. Don't exactly know where he's at, but we do want to start farming this uh, tree. There he comes out. So he will have a shot at us between this island gap eventually. And uh, I need to just make sure I'm going to avoid that, or at least be angled to it when it starts to come. I also want to help my team kill this guy. We should do all right, GK and Satsuma, but we can help out. Get a nice little fire there. Of course, the Patri will be overmatching us, so we got to be a little careful of that if we get spotted. But we're in a nice little pocket here where we're not getting spotted, and uh, we can apply quite a bit of pressure to these uh, battleships. There we go. That Schlieffen smoked up? Oh my goodness. So their DD is up there. <laughs> That's funny. That'll be a little bit tricky to deal with, certainly. The tree, I think, is looking at us, but doesn't have the shot. Yep. So let's see if we can't uh, finish off this Alaska pushing mid quickly. And then angle back once uh, the Patri is going to have his shot. Yeah, feels pretty good. We hit 10 out of our 12 shells. Even if we didn't uh, manage to finish them off, it's really good damage still. And a fire. That'll help us a lot. Fortunately, I am stuck kind of between the Schlieffen and the Alaska. So hopefully he doesn't uh, do a ton of damage to us. Four shatters. Wow. Ideally, this guy would go down. You know? Okay, there we go. He's done. And the enemy team is very much in their spawn, but... Uh, Schlieffen secondary everybody is kind of interesting, certainly. Got a Brisbane. Okay. Game is not over yet. Alright, we'll use our spotter and then start farming this Patri. It's going to be difficult. But uh, I think we can do this. We have a lot of battleships that are pretty powerful yet. But we're going to see the power of the extra shell velocity, the extra pen on the uh, the Zhao, allowing us to uh, farm a little bit easier at longer ranges. Although we are also going to feel uh, the power of a super ship <laughs> in a second. Oh, it just goes short. Lucky us. All right. That is very lucky for us, certainly. The Patri is a very powerful ship if its shells manage to land. That is the problem there. RNG can be a little bit difficult on that one. Ooh, we got the stern fire, 7,000 damage. Yeah. <laughs> Zao is pretty good, <laughs> I gotta say. <laughs> it, it's kind of painful. Oh, that was poor aim there. Uh, it's kind of painful to say, but even Zhao feels way, way better than our uh, our poor Yoto. <laughs> and 8.8! 8, 8. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Poor, poor Yoto. Poor, poor Yoto. Alright, Patria is going behind the island. Got some decent damage. We need to kill this Schlieffen. Interesting. We managed to get our Satsuma. Kind of nuts. And something is in B. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the Duncan, I guess. A little spooky for us. You know, for rolling broadside onto that. So there's a shot from there. There's the Duncan. 
The tree is on his way out. So three seconds. And hopefully we go dark. Yes, we do. Our torps aren't quite long enough to reach this tree, which is a little unfortunate. That, of course, is a big advantage of the Yodo. I'll give it that. So they are definitely winning at the moment. Very tricky game. Very tricky game. Yeah, the, sh the shell velocity is so comfy in comparison to the uh, the Yodo. I gotta say, no fire doesn't get him lit. Oh, he shot at us though. That is a spookily accurate salvo. However, ah, oh, wasn't angled enough. I was thinking maybe the Duncan would. Uh, Bounce off the 30 mil, but it does not. Yeah, the weak armor. And the Patri. Alright, barely alive. Unfortunate. Our team kind of melted again. We got a bit of... Uh, we've been having some tough teams these last few days, I gotta say. <laughs> um... Yeah, we've been having some tough teams. But 172 certainly feels like a good result here. probably got me here. No, he gets unlucky. Again. Poor Patri. Oh my goodness, this poor Patri, man. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for the guy. Monty Salvos, sure. Did we outrun this one? Let's see. Ooh. Very scary. Very scary. <laughs> We're alive. Barely. And we do collect the Patri. All right. We're kind of out of room, though. That is a bit of an issue. And I got a Vermont on our flank. That's going to be really tough to deal with. But let's go out swinging. May as well try. How's our lion doing for health? Not great. Oh, Monty had a shot. I thought he had shot already for some reason. I wasn't paying attention. We're probably dead. No. Just Zao troll armor things, I guess. <laughs> oh, he was out of sync. I see. He had a turret that was out. I get ya. So Zhao, Zhao doing all right. Zhao doing all right here. I basically just have to ignore the Vermont here. That's kind of the, the thing that I have to do with this play. And I think Monty's probably got us, unless he overlet it. Ah, the game's over anyway. A good effort, though, in the Zhao, honestly. 244? With a team like that again? I mean... So this time, we get ourselves Ocean. <laughs> so definitely a good map to be playing a ship that is good in open water. I guess we'll see just how good open water uh, Zhao can be. But uh, I think we'll do all right here, honestly. 
Depends, uh, depends how focused we get and how much damage we take early. That's really what it comes down to. Hopefully, though, we don't take too much. We have the opportunity to kite away a little bit. That'll be ideal. I tried to push in to get some uh, salvos in on some of the destroyers, but that didn't exactly happen. Chung Mu is pushing ridiculously fast, though. So I think we will try and swing around and get him. Or at least help. How is he taking no damage? He's on our half of the map already. What? That seems a little bit odd. Oh, there we go. Five hits. That's what we like to see. It's it's not just the shell velocity. It's really the accuracy, too. Allowing us to, to hit people that hard. Helps a ton. Helps a ton. Nice. Good work, team. Good show. Salem at range. Not too scared of that. That DD definitely did a pretty good job suiciding. Yeah, I gotta say, guys, Yodo, Yodo feels pretty brutal in comparison. I was kind of thinking when I got up, you know, I was like, you know, what am I going to make a video on today? Well, maybe, maybe Yodo's not that bad. I technically haven't played Zhao in a long time, but it's just so much nicer to play with the uh, extra shell velocity and accuracy, too, on top of that. And the reloads are pretty similar, right? Hmm. Undetected. Very good. The Nappies. Napoli is really what I'm not interested in fighting. Out here. I want to shoot at the Iowa, though. That would be ideal. We do have to watch a little bit of cross shots from the other flank, but... We should be relatively okay. Definitely shoot at the sub when we get the chance, though. Good fire on the uh, Iowa, by the way. All 12. <laughs> nice. Uh, did the Iowa give up? AFK? That'd be sad if he did. Another fire. Very nice. Do we get greedy for the backfire if he's that AFK? I think we do. Ooh, we don't quite get it. However, the fire should tick out on him. Spotter returning to ship. Good. Take use of this smoke while we can. Deal with this Henry a little bit. Uh, how's our team doing here? Our Iowa's going to go down. That's not amazing. But their price end should go down too, eventually. But with this Henry turning around, I want to be going north. Again, I don't want to be pushing the enemy spawn. Even though here... On Ocean, it makes a little more sense because we do have that, uh, we don't have to deal with, you know, the enemy team holding on to key islands here and then, you know, cross-firing us from those key islands to make it very hard, but it's still hard when you push the enemy spawn. I ain't gonna lie. Good luck and fair seas. The other thing is our DDs are pretty pushed up, so I want to be helping them as well from here. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. And I'm okay with pushing in and firing like this because I have the ability to go in the dark. I won't be spotted if I don't want to be. Good hit. Henry is getting lower. Napoli's looking at us now. Alright, I think I'm good. 
kind of worried about the angle I'm showing to the Awami at the moment. So let's, uh, let's go undetected, shall we? Feels pretty nice. There we go. Just like that. That's kind of what I want to be doing in this ship a lot is, is get detected, push in a little bit, and then uh, be able to disengage is really, really nice. How did our DD die there? Is it a radar Ed Edgar? Narashima just kind of sat in radar range, I guess. Unlikely he pushes in, right? That's the thing. Our torps just aren't nearly as useful, you know? Okay, let's uh, let's focus on this Des Moines and this uh, Iwami in the north. Try and help our uh, GK. I don't know. Well, GK is probably dead. Venice, more likely. 7k and a fire. Zalo Salvos, man. They absolutely smash people. Oh, actually, our GK is living for a little while longer yet. Eight again and a fire. Wow. Pretty filthy. We're angled to these guys reasonably well, so I'm not too worried. I know the Awami is focused on the GK right now. As well as, uh, well, now he's taken out, I guess, but. Des Moines has been pushed back. Oh, yeah, let's go after you. These Zao Salvos, man. Oh, my goodness, the Venice Salvos. Holy, okay. <laughs> uh, maybe Venice is the way. <laughs> Venice kind of nasty. I ain't gonna lie. Shima. Hopefully our Velos isn't gonna die here. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. I will get greedy for that one. Try and help out. Good. Enemy our, I mean our DDs are kinda dying. I ain't gonna lie. They're not they're not I mean they're pushing far way too far into radar. Especially on an open water map. These guys don't even have... Maybe the Edgar has stealth radar. I don't actually remember. I don't think it does. But I know the Des Moines and Salem don't. And they're just within radar water range. Just chilling. Use a hydro here to make sure we're not going to uh, eat any other torpedoes. Try and deal with this Awami as well. I don't really want to get stuck bow in though, just in case the Des Moines is around. We have the points advantage in this one, so I don't actually need to uh, play too aggressive. The shatters kind of sucks. I guess I hit his turrets. We have some time. They're all kiting in the other side as well on the enemy team. Double fire. There we go. The Awami's using HE. Alright. I definitely did not expect that. Only six six shatters there. Guess I gotta aim a little higher. We hit the belt then? Doesn't his upper belt have 32? That's what I'm going for all these times, is we're looking for 32 mil plates. Alright, now we can charge towards C. I mean, to be fair, there is a Des Moines, but... I have a lot of HP. We took him We took him pretty low, I think. Although, we'll see. That is one of the weak points of the Zhao, is if you're bow in against Des Moines and that, it's pretty tricky. And Awami Torps are pretty spooky as well. There's the one. So yeah, our DDs are just well within radar range and they're deciding to stay there. Pretty wild. Pretty 
wild. I could have been AP on this, honestly, but I was thinking he would turn into us. PD Torps. Nice. Yeah. Um, so for all of you destroyer players there who think radar is impossible to counter, I would suggest not staying within radar range. <laughs> Especially on an open water map where you just can spot the d the radar cruiser before he's there. I don't know. It seems like a little bit... Uh, it is difficult, I suppose. But Zhao feels great, man. I gotta say, this thing is not bad these days. Let's try and help on this Salem here. At range. I am actually running the... Uh, legendary upgrade or unique upgrade as you guys saw with the build the reason is the accuracy is so nice and i like that a little bit more than the extra range we get with range mod i basically never want to go reload with Zhao though uh it's just it's far too difficult to play and then to compensate for the range i'm actually using the spotter plane upgrade as well as the captain skill which gives me reduced uh, cooldown on that of course, we do have to deal with uh, reduced uptime, but it certainly helps it be more available. That's why I like that eye in the sky skill. Right, I think they got him. There we go. 160 in our second game. Yeah, I think I think it's safe to say my opinion is that Zhao is a very good cruiser still. Maybe not meta, but it's pretty solid still. And the Yodo. Well, it's unfortunate. It's just kind of unfortunate. Uh, and it's interesting, you know, the, the Zhao has less range. Similar concealment. I think it really does have to come down to the shell velocity. Maybe the pen and the fire chance as well. Because of the uh, reload difference not being really all that much. But it's just, it's much more comfortable to play a Zhao. Maneuverability as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I hope it was an interesting thing to compare to. Uh, the Yodo games certainly did not go very well. That might be down to some teams we had in that one. I'll, I'll definitely say that. But I think Zhao is just better than Yodo still. I don't think that's uh, very controversial either, to be honest with you. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.